first let us start with a basic setup i have created one folder model folder is completely empty right click on this i'm just going to open with code i will be working with visual studio code editor if you are using some other editor like sublime bracket then also you can follow this project and you can create this project i will close this welcome page here i am going to create one file index.html style.css and finally script.js so whenever we are creating website most important thing is we have to create index.html file because this will be the entry point to any of the website but for this style.css and for javascript we can give any names you can give app.js you can give javascript.js for stylings you can give any name but whenever we are creating website there should be one file with the name index because that will be the entry point to our website now inside this index.html i will be writing this basic boilerplate and here i'm just going to remove this i'll just write here my cuisine website or my model whatever you want you can write and below this title i'm going to link my style sheet and here i will give style.css now this is my body before my body is ending i will be linking my javascript file inside this i am going to give script.js whatever file name you have given same file name you have to link it here now most of the time whenever we are creating website there are many different services which will be providing free icons mostly people will be using font awesome but as this is a simple project and we are going to use only two icons menu and cross symbol so we are going to use another website i will open and in google i am just going to search for ion icons and click on this first link premium open source i will click on this and inside this website we are having few icons and these icons are enough to create simple project now how can we use this icons first what we have to do we have to link this one whatever code this website has provided first we have to link in our project so here i am going to click on this usage tab inside this they have given this two links installation process i'm just going to copy this two links and here before this script tag i'm just going to paste those two links i will show you one example i will come to icons i'm just going to click on this plus this code will be opened here you can either download or you can just click on this code it will be copied and inside this i'm just going to paste save this let me show you the result you can see the plus symbol will be displayed here so it is very simple whatever icon you want you can search from here just click on that and here you will be having the code you have to copy and you have to paste it here once it is done we will search google fonts and i'm going to open this first link inside this we have multiple fonts but i am going to use this roboto accordingly whichever font family you want you can use for this project i have selected this font and i have used this light 300 let me just remove this one you will be having this plus icon just have to click on this this window will be open inside this we have two options link and import when we do link this code whatever it is provided 
we are going to paste inside our index.html file. But if we go to import, this entire import we are going to paste inside style.css. Or else directly they have given another option. We can use style element and we can just paste inside index.html. Any which way you can use and you can set up this Google font. And if you see here below this, they have given this font family Roboto and this sans serif. I will copy and here I am just going to paste that one. Now most of us will be having question. If we have selected Roboto, then why this option is given that is sans serif. Sometimes when users are using our website, they will not be having Roboto installed or their browser will not be supporting the font family. Then this second font family will be selected and that will be displayed to them. So basically this is one separate font family and this is one separate font family. So later on I am going to use this font family in my entire project. Okay, this is the basic setup. This is our basic setup. What we have done, we have created three files index.html, style.css, and script.js. Inside HTML file, we have written basic structure, we have changed the title, we have linked CSS, we have linked JavaScript file, we have pasted the links which are needed to use icons. And finally, we have imported Roboto font family. This is the basic setup. Once you are done with the setup, let's start with our HTML part.